Today we are repairing automatic updates for Windows Vista. I'm very pleased to bring you this tutorial. As you can see here, this test system has Windows updates that were found through the Windows Update feature in Windows Vista, and it's the year 2021. It's still possible to get automatic updates for Windows Vista, and this is how. The test system we are using has Windows Vista Home Premium with Service Pack 2 installed. This is a clean installation, no updates have been done manually, and no settings have been changed. For this project, we will need a functional browser. I have Pale Moon installed and ready to go. To get started, we need to open a browser and download the Windows Update Agent version 7.6. While that is installing, I make this CD image that contains all the necessary files to repair automatic updates for Windows Vista. The files are numbered in the order they need to be installed. Both 32 and 64-bit versions are included. For early access, you can grab a copy of the CD image from my Patreon page. Next up, we need to install Visual C++ Redistributable 2012. However, I like to use this all-in-one installer that will install all the supported versions for the operating system. What we get is a compressed file that contains the installer package for each version, and a batch file that does all the work in installing them in the correct order. The entire process does take several minutes to complete. Now we need to download a patched version of PHP from this website that's not entirely in English. The download is a compressed file that we need to extract to a folder on the desktop. Then we need to grab this collection of batch files from here, which we will also extract to a folder on the desktop. We will need Internet Explorer 9, which we can get from the Microsoft Update Catalog. The easy way to find it is by sorting the list by size, largest to smallest. In this case, we are working with the 64-bit version of Vista. The download is second from the top. The rest are language packs. If you are working with the 32-bit version of Vista, the download is at the bottom of the list. During the installation, it may complain that an update is missing. Click the Get Update button. This will take us to an article talking about the prerequisites for Internet Explorer 9. Scroll down the page to some links to KB articles. As Service Pack 2 is already installed, we can continue to the next patch. Both are available from the Microsoft Update catalog. From here, there are a few more patches that need to be installed manually. Collectively, they fix a separate issue where the check for updates takes a really long time to complete. We can grab the links to those patches from the video description here. In testing, I did need to install this Internet Explorer 9 update that is listed as optional. Also, a reboot is required after each update is installed, so patience is needed. Finally, we get to actually check for updates. Start by opening that folder where we put the collection of batch files. First, run add WSUS. Once this completes, we can run run WSUS. This command prompt window needs to stay open. If you get a prompt from Windows Firewall, click unblock on the dialog box. Now to open Windows Update to check for updates. Fantastic. We have over 9,000 updates that need to be installed. That's it. We've successfully repaired automatic updates for Windows Vista. Links are in the description. Thanks for stopping by. See you next video.